Hello, Namaskar everyone. Welcome to the Big Breaking. My name is Pooja Devedi. After the successful launch and the landing of the Chandrayaan 3 and the successful launch of the Aditya L1, India has made it clear to the world that we are going for deep space exploration. But now next is Samudrayaan. Samudrayaan, as the name suggests, is going to explore the deep ocean through the Matsya 6000 submersible. Let's know about it. It's a submersible. It's a manned submersible. That means it can carry people. It can carry maximum of up to three people. And it is developed by the National Institute of Ocean Technology. Remember that it has been making since the past few years. The vehicle is developed as a part of the Samudrayan project. The project is Samudrayan under which we will have the Matsya 6000. And the outlay for this project is 4077 crore. It is overall a part of the deep ocean mission. The first manned and unmanned both uh, sea trials will be at 500 meter depth which is likely to be done at the beginning of 2024 specifically in the Bay of Bengal and there will be critical parameters that will be reviewed after the implosion of Titan submersible which went to look for the Titanic. Titan actually took five tourists to Titanic wreckage in North Atlantic Ocean and it imploded. Didn't explode but imploded. That's very different from exploding. Exploding is bursting outwards but imploding is bursting inwards. Sensors will help explore deep sea resources and this will be made up of titanium alloy. The submersible will be made up of titanium alloy so that it can withstand water pressure and the researchers will also communicate through acoustic waves. Remember, all these small things can be asked in your preliminary examination. Remember, the researchers will communicate through acoustic waves at 6000 meters, which is 6 kilometers. And the pressure will be more than 600 times than the pressure at the sea level. The endurance of the vehicle is also pretty good. It is 12 hours, but in emergency cases, it can extend up to 96 hours. Oxygen will be supplied and CO2 will be extracted from the sphere. There are so many countries that have worked with their own indigenous manned submersible, including the USA, Russia, Japan, France and China. So, we are also going to join this elite league of nations. Moving ahead, what is the aim of this mission? The aim of this mission is to of course look for critical minerals such as nickel, cobalt, manganese, hydrothermal sulphides and gas hydrates. It will also investigate chemosynthetic biodiversity in the hydrothermal vents and low temperature methane seeps in the ocean, as in what kind of life sustains there. Secondary aim is to join the League of Nations that have already undergone through such missions, such as the US, Russia, Japan, France and China. This is a part of the deep ocean mission as I have iterated and it will conduct sea trials that will be in the first quarter of 2024. And the mission is expected to be realized by 2026. The nodal ministry will be the Ministry of Earth Sciences. Thank you so much.